Hello, welcome to All Sea Nerds. Now, this is a shout out for Ray Screws. I was talking to him about Hot Wheels. Now, check this guy's out. I'll put the link down below. But check this guy out. He's got some amazing Hot Wheels. And if you're into collecting little dinky cars like me and many others, um, I was in the attic like last year and I found some of my Hot Wheels. So I told him I'd do him a little video of what I've got. So he might need them. And, you know, I'm not in, you know, if you want to swap, fair enough. But I'm just going to share what I've got. First of all, this one. Um, don't know what it is, don't know what make it is. Um, the one actually says it's just made in Malaysia and it was released in 89. Looks like a, looks like a Chevy, I think. Nice little artwork. Um, the reason why I collect these is because it gives me ideas for body shells for my RC cars. Also, um, that's that one. I have this one. No, I love this one. So I'm into. I'm not morbid, but I, I like her. So I think they're mad. Um, what What really made me laugh about this? I don't know if you can see that, but inside there's only two chairs on this side, and there's a big lever there. And I'm just wondering what it is. But no, it's like a three seater. But there's like two seater. But sorry, yeah, two seater. Um, it's got a few scratches on it, but I believe in what Ray Screw says. They're meant to be played with, not meant to be kept away in a box unless they're the limited ones, but the back on it is mad. It's fantastic. Um, so I've got that one. Um, I don't know the name of it. I don't even know if it's got one. It's got a plastic bottom, 2002. Oh, it's 8 crate. So I've got 8 crate. So 8 crate there. Um, also this one, I love this one. This is inspirating me to do a low rider for one of my RCs. Lovely little, um, as I call it, pinstripe um, flames across there. If you can see that, there you go. There you go. Um, nice little motif on the top. This one's called 65 Bonneville GMTM. So there must be General Motors. That's a 2002. It's got the Hot Wheels symbol at the bottom there, as you can see. Um, as I said to you, Race Groove, I haven't got any limited ones. You know, I'm going to start them. But, hmm, I remember back in the day when I was younger, I had this thing about Ford One Pops, and I was a big, massive. I was just well into Ford One hot rods and, you know, type. Fords or whatever you call them, I don't know anyway. I found this one. Now this one was in a box that I actually named Time Not Forgotten. And I used to paint, I had this thing about painting my cars with black marker pen. I don't know where that came from, but I'll wash it up. It's got the plastic wheels and it's the oldie but, but a goodie Ford you know it's this is really old this is there you go it's neat streeter it's 1975 metal base um, this is when the U US painted it and foreign painted it it was in 1973 but it was also made in Hong Kong not Malaysia so that is the rarest one I have um, never seen one like that since unless you can do a video on it but this has got the metal grill at the front um, back wheels a bit bent they've had the days god bless them but yeah that's just for you race groove they're the ones I've got um, if you're wondering what that is at the back that's one of my creations that I have linked up to my lap, my PS3 if you look there and I have this link to it so when it starts it lights up it's just like my little garage but there you go that's for you um, I don't know if you can name any of these, if you can, can you please shed some light on them? But that is my oldest one. And it's had its days, but it's it's in good nick. Nothing a bit of clean up wouldn't do. But there you go, that's for you race group. Cheers.